Hello everyone, welcome back. So we're using the round coasters today and we're gonna try using a gradient effect with some alcohol inks. Rather than float them, we're gonna mix them in resin and pour them. I have 30 grams mixed up for the white. We're going to add the three drops of the casting craft. One, two. I'll give it a, I'm trying to remember to use these reusable stir sticks instead of grabbing the wooden popsicle sticks all the time. Try to save on waste. I'm not always the best at remembering. It's kind of out of habit. I grabbed the, the wooden ones instead. Um, so today what I thought we would do is we're going to use the pinata calabaz orange and then we're using the pinata some bright yellow so we're going to start with the orange on the outside do a ring a ring of clear a ring of yellow more clear in the middle and then i'll add just a small drop of the let's resin coffee so i'm hoping that once it all fills pushes out it'll bounce back in and just gradually pull those colors together. That's my theory on it. We'll see how that works. So I have my larger container of the clear. On that one, um, four ounces is gonna go into the coaster. So I figured we'll do um, an ounce of each color, leave two for the clear and see how that, that uh, combination will work for us. So let's take our temperature in the bigger pot, see where we're at. Hopefully we're, we're getting to that point where I can start to decant a little bit and mix some things around. Your guess is good as mine. Again, I always say it's, it's an experiment every time I try to, I do one out here. I never know exactly what results I'm gonna get Maybe everything will work. Maybe it'll be a, a huge disaster. So, all right. We are really close to being to that temp, but being that I need to pour into and mix, we're gonna start that process now and leave the bigger guy. So let's pull him out. So let's see what we can do. So I have four ounces in here. So we're gonna try to get just about an ounce in each cup. Again, it may not be exactly precise, but that's what we're gonna shoot for. It's just about an ounce in each cup. Let's see. Yep. All right. Try to make it as even as possible. All right. Wow. That worked out pretty well. Write that one down. All right. So again, it's the Pinata orange. Give it a couple really good shakes. I'm not sure, probably maybe two or three drops. I don't know. We'll try three and see what we think of that color. See if it, it needs a little bit more. Ooh, this is a very bright orange. I like it. What do you think? It's super orange. Wipe the stick. Hmm. Normally, most people, you know, would start with the lighter into the darker. I figured, well, we'll change it up a little bit. Okay, so pinata yellow. So we'll do three drops in this one and see. Hmm. That was four. We'll go five. Only because that orange is so bright. I want to see how. Scrape the cup. Mm. And the cup, it looks really dark. But when I pull the stick up, it's not a whole lot. So we're gonna add a few more drops. We did five, let's go six, seven, 
eight. I just don't want it to get lost in the orange if it's not dark enough. It won't pop out at us, if you will. I don't know, it looks super dark in the cup, but. Mm -hmm. All right, I think it'll be okay. We'll, we'll go with that color. All right, let's see what our temp is in our main cup here. It's got a little bit more than the other ones and the other ones are feeling pretty warm to my hand. But again, trying to, to hit that spot with the, the resin temp when I decant it because once you put it in your molds initially and it, it'll cool down a little bit, but I just don't want it to cool down too much. Okay, perfect. 96.8, still climbing. We'll get that guy out of the way. <clears throat> All right. Start with the orange. I'm going to stir it again real quick. Ooh, I almost spilt that. We had a disaster. All right. Wipe him off. Get him out of the way. All right. So let's start with the orange. Try to make an outer ring. Let's see what happens. I just figured it'd be fun to try something different since I'm usually always just floating the inks. Oh, we might have enough. I might be scraping the cup. So I figured it'd be, you know, why not mix the ink in? Oh yeah, I'm gonna be scraping the cup to get this last one. All right. Self, make more next time. All right, we'll just scooch it around. Who has a lot? You kind of have a lot. Let's steal from him. Let's stick it over there. Kind of scoochy it. Scoochy. That's my word. Scoochy. We'll just have to run with that. Get that cup out of the way. All right. Four thinner lines on the yellow. Actually, let's do clear. No, let's just do yellow. All right. We'll try leaving the stick in. Let's start here. All right. See if I can't better evenly distribute the colors. So I think next time when I do one like this in the rounds, I'll mix up two ounces of each color rather than just an ounce or maybe an ounce and a half of each color. Just a little bit extra to make sure I have more in there. Oh, now I'm going to be able to go back around. Maybe I didn't get as much in that orange cup as I thought. All right. Still just trying to place that in there. in the cup, so let's see. 
Let me give you just a little bit more. See if we can't just rip that in there some. Let's see, you got a bit of hole in your ring. Give you a little bit. drips in there. Okay, we're gonna call him good. Pop that out of the way. All right, let's pour the clear in the center. Let's see how everybody, make sure everybody gets enough. Keep going around, give everybody a little bit more. Try to use up everything that's in my cup. Just scrape it. Let's see, levels. Looks like he can use a little more. I try to make sure they're evenly filled, but sometimes it's easier said than done, quite honestly. But sometimes you just gotta kinda roll with it. Okay, we'll grab our heat gun, do a little bit of bubble work. stubborn bubbles sitting on the bottom of these guys. We'll see if we can convince them to come up. Maybe real lightly around the edge. Make sure we get some of those out. in the middle come up he's a big dude all right we'll hit it again with the heat gun okay let's check on our white see how we're doing let's see oh it's getting nice and warm very good very good Take our temperature. See where we're climbing to. Make sure I don't drop the cup. That'd be my luck, I'd drop the cup right in the middle of all of it. She's climbing pretty good, let's see. Looking to hit that 101.3. And again, that's just the temperature that works for me. Your resin that you use could be totally different. Perfect. 101.3 and climbing. So just have to experiment guys. See what works for you and your resin and go from there. All right, into the piping cup we go. Oh shoot, I did not put the brown in the center. Okay, we'll work fast. Work fast, see what happens. All right, give that a second. Okay, I wanna put a drop of the Let's Resin brown in the center. Hopefully just one little drop. All right. Just a little one, please. Okay, good. Just a little, okay. A little guy. Perfect. Little guy, okay. Let's get him out of the way. Grab the pen, we'll swirl the brown around. Swirl it. We'll swirl him 
to. Trying to work quickly since I already put the white into the piping bag. We'll see. Okay. There we go. We'll get the white out of the bag here. Get her folded up. All right, squish it down. Several good twists. Snip the tip on it. Okay, definitely coming out well. All right, we'll start off spirals. Yay, okay. So far it's looking good. my wonky spirals that are always happening. Okay, round and around. Oh, I really like the colors. I like how they're, oh good Lord, what am I doing on those spirals? I like how the orange and the yellow are blending, but hopefully not blending too much. We'll see. All right, there's, Lord have mercy, my spirals are a mess today. You're pretty thin. Let's see if we can't squeeze some more in there. It's kind of thin right in there, because apparently I am unable to do symmetrical spirals. All right, so for these, I want to try zigzag lines rather than straight or swirly. I want to do a zigzag. No idea of what it's going to look like. So we're starting in the middle. Actually, we're going to start in the out and we're going to zigzag in. So let's zigzag. I have no idea. It may not work at all. And then we'll just pull straight out. I don't know, zigzags may not make a bit of difference, who knows? All right, through that blob, zigzag into the middle, zigzag. Again, it may not make a bit of difference, but I guess you never know till you try. Out. Out. Going out. Well, that's not even even. That's going to look, oh well. <laughs> oh, let's give it a swirl. And we'll give it a swirl. Really like that coffee flavor, or flavor, color. Stay out of the light, Michelle. All right, zigzag in. Hmm. Zigzag in, zigzag, zigzag, and pull out, pull out, out. Wow, that looks like a hot mess. And swirl. I don't know. All right, it's a couple blobs. I'll see if I can run through them. So let's. Zigzag our way to the middle and zigzag our way to the middle. Okay, let's pull out, 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 out. Give it a quick swirl. All right. Wipe the hands off. Ah, God, I'm a mess. All right, grab the heat gun, warm them up. All right, 
pull them apart here. And we'll start blowing those edges in. Blooming nice. Okay, okay. Round and round. We'll start blowing the edges. Okay, we'll do the last one. Round and round. Push the outside in. Okay. Bring them all back together. One last time, round and round. There you bloom. Bloom, bloom, bloom. All right. I'm going to stop because I overheat. <laughs> so we'll see how they go. Everything's starting to, to open really well. Love, 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 love the white and that coffee. I don't know, for me, it's just super pretty. So we'll give them a little while, let them bloom. I'll bring you guys back in for a close up. We'll see how they do. We'll back film in a couple hours, which I already decided I am going to back fill in the Let's Resin Emerald Green. I just think that would be a pretty color combination. So we'll give it a little bit and we'll be back. Okay guys, we're back and I'm super excited about these. You can see that it's it's pulling that color, the orange into the yellow, and it kind of varies from each one. So they're blooming beautifully. Makes me super happy. Pretty blooms. Nice blooms. Here we go. Yay! I really like that coffee center. It kind of, on the back side, it looks super dark, but I'm hoping that it blended well with the, the white in the front. And will give us a nice effect. You can see all the layers from the rings. Everybody's closing up. So we'll wait a little bit, get them back filled, demold in the morning. Okay, here we go. It's time to demold. We'll see. Oh, I ended up back filling them, like I said, in the Let's Resin Emerald Green. So we'll see how that works with it. All right, number one, back still look just about the same as when we took a close look, other than they've been back filled in. So we'll see what these guys look like. Little overflow I'm gonna have to clean up. <gasps> Yay! That's pretty. So you can still, the edge of the coaster has the that orange that we laid little bit of orange on the flowers definitely the yellow pulled in but it go you can definitely see it go through you have the orange into the more yellow into the white and then that coffee center i really like that that coffee center that is so pretty all right on to number two i'm trying not to cast shadows Oh, definitely have some some drippage. We'll have to get off of there. All right. Yay! Lots of layers on this guy. Real pretty. Love the center. He looks good. Oh look, we have some some of the wispies out, and I think that's where I ended my spirals funny. But they looked they look really pretty. It still worked out very nicely. All right. So this one will be interesting. We definitely have some more empty space over there. All right. Boom. Oh, 
Rooney. Okay, so we have negative space because the center shifted. But okay, that's okay. I can live with that. Oh, look. There's so many layers. I love it. It looks like a little more orange. Then it kind of skirts the edges and then the yellow. So maybe next time definitely where I thought the orange would overpower, the yellow did. So we'll definitely pour the outer ring thicker than that other ring. But it's still really pretty. This one has great orange detail in it. <clears throat> Love the center. All right. And if you guys have suggestions on colors, designs, drop it in the comments. We'll see what we can come up with. Well, I'm willing to try, you know, try different colors, try different patterns, designs, whatever, whatever. Drop, drop them in the comments. Let's, let's see what we can create together. And if you, if I pick one that's out there, I'm going to give credit to the person who put up the idea. All right, here we go. Woo, so pretty. Oh my gosh. Interesting, this one has a lot more of the, the wispy kind of look. Very on the outsides of this ring. It's so kind of neat how these all were poured the same, the same amount of spiraling, really tight, close together, thick lines, and yet each one took on a different look. So yeah, I look forward to reading some comments and some ideas and suggestions. Like I said, please, you know, if you like it, like the video, subscribe to the channel. We'll keep making things together and I'll keep posting videos about it. Thanks so much.